Hey, you Green Z34 here, and I have a brew to review. Um, brew haha. Brew haha. And if you'll notice, it has this dandy little German man sitting on top. It looks like he's hitting a rock with a hammer. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if this is pronounced Hauenstein or Hauenstein, Haven. Maybe that's a V. Havenstein. Hold on, I'm part German. See, it's 1864. Havenstein? Havenstein. And then it's a, a beer. It says right there, Havenstein beer. And it says, like I said, 1864. Now, this is, says Havenstein Brewing Company, New Orleans, Minnesota. Now, I've been to New Orleans, Minnesota. It's not very far. It's only about half an hour away from here. <laughs> and the only place that I've ever noticed was uh, Shell's. So now I don't know if this is actually a Shell's Bry product and it just says them, or if it's actually uh, a whole separate brewery in New Ulm. Is there anything else on the bottle that could say where it's out of? On the so back, I mean? Just says New Ulm, so this is tofu and ounces and it has that same man pounding the, the rock. Now let's look at the back of it. Let's, let's, look at, let's get some light in here. It says, the beer with a little character. That's what it says right there. It says, since 1864 has its recycling references and the government warning and a barcode. That's all it says in the back. Unfortunately, I don't know. I really wish I knew where this was made in New Ulm because I would expect it to be brewed at Shells. I mean, if you go to New Ulm, there's New Ulm and Shells. Shells is the thing. It is a huge facility. I mean, it is it is New Ulm. I bet you probably a quarter of New Ulm is employed at Shells. But I've never heard of this. And uh, Shells doesn't talk about it. It's not on their website. This may be brewed at a completely separate independent place, but I would know nothing about it because I never heard of it before. And it's actually pretty popular here in, in Wyndham. So I see quite a few people buying it. I've never seen it before, actually. It's actually in, it's in the Wyndham Liquor Store. Oh. Huh. It is. I just had it by your uncle. Yeah, Brenda's uncle here had it. Um, and I just never had it before, but uh, that's about to change. It has a little circle here on the glass. Not that that's important, but um, it's about the only distinguishing character. Um, I think I'm actually going to pour this one. I haven't poured one for a while for you guys, but this one, to me, feels important enough to pour because it's not a Shell's beer, and uh, I feel like it deserves a uh, decent review. It really does because New Ulm is local, and I love I love living here. I mean, I support local breweries. I'm a big fan. If this beer is good, I will buy it often because I, I my problem with Shell's beer is it's a little too much for me. It's a little... It's well, it's about the same as a name brand beer price. Yeah, it's name beer brand price, and it's not quite good enough for me to buy. Well, I wouldn't say. Hold, that. hold this for a second, man. I wouldn't say it's not good enough. It's just. It's not. It's not good enough for me to buy regularly, like I would a Shell's beer. I don't know. I could do like, like Sh Sh Shell's beer to me. I will buy the Budweiser before I'll buy the Shell's, and it's not be just for taste alone. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my cap collection because it is a cool cap. And someday, you know, I'm going to make a review video of cap collection because it's going to be pretty did fun. Did you keep one of them uh, Bud Crown caps, the black ones? Oh, I don't think one, I did. There's one sitting in, the living, in your room there, though. If you, if you, yeah, please remind there's me later. There's a couple in the wagon, too. Um, smell? It's really a... Uh, Yeah, I got camel smell right now. Sorry. It's okay. It's it's a little bit uh, a little bit of a wood smell, but it's more of a it's more of a sour doughness. It's it smells kind of like a um, it's a little bit of a Swedish sour smell. Um, it kind of smells like a, uh, it smells kind of like a Shell's beer, but it's almost more like a Budweiser. I mean, it is not quite as distinctive smelling as a Shell's beer. Um, here, why don't I have you hold this again, Logan, while I pour it in the light. I got my, my mug, it's got kind of these indentations, it's not the best for pouring, but let's, uh, let's pour it like we should. She's looking to be lighter. I don't know if I poured that very well, but it's a very light colored beer. A little bit of a head. It's very rapid. Um, 
uh, carbonation with it. It's a light, a light yellow, kind of a real pale yellow, um, light, light. I mean, maybe maybe a little bit of a strawishness to it, but it's very light in color, very golden, very bright. Um, the head dissipates quickly. It smells. It smells almost like a coarseness. I mean, it's it's really light, almost a buttery smell. Why don't you give it a smell, Logan? I want to see what your thoughts are on it before I take a drink. Uh, yeah, I'd say maybe a Coors Keystone, yeah. yeah. Definitely like a lighter beer smell. Lighter beer smell. Why don't you give it a smell, Brenda? <laughs> Don't drop our tablet. That's yeah, only a hundred bucks. You gonna buy me another one? Sure, if I can keep it. No. Um, it smells like a Bud Light or a Coors Light. A light Think so. beer. Think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want to record from now, Brenda? She wants to sip. It tastes like apple juice. Take, take one more sip. She kind of likes it, it seems like. kind of do. She's not making a face. Like she I told you. And mind you, she hasn't drank nothing. She ain't drunk or nothing. I mean, we we both had this um, five-minute high-gravity video before this, so our taste buds eat. But it tastes back like apple juice. She's with a just, kick. I mean, like, with the sweet. I, I was going to say before, uh, I'm going to take a sip of it. I was going to say, I get almost a ciderness to it, but I, I didn't. I quite, mean, it doesn't. It, it's almost, no, 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 it almost is kind of the sweetness of a ciderness is the it's sweet smell that it's like not. That reds but, I, but it doesn't taste like the, um, that one cider. It doesn't taste like a cider. Oh, that's cool. We got hard cider. It doesn't taste like, uh. Woodchuck or nothing? That's yeah, there you go. Woodchuck. It doesn't taste well, like that. That's, I mean, it's a beer. It shouldn't, but I'm just saying. I mean, uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, let me go ahead and take a sip. Okay. Okay, now this is pretty good. This is, no, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it it kind of tastes like... Uh, it tastes kind of like it, it's definitely it's stronger flavored than I thought it would be, but it it tastes kind of like one of those real fruity beers that I usually hate. But but there's nothing offensive. Like the things that I hate about the fruity beers isn't here in this one. It's 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 very very drinkable. Go ahead and give it a taste for me. Tell me what you think. Huh. It's not necessarily. It's it's pretty smooth considering. Um, it's almost got. Uh, oh, what what kind of beer is it? Oh, uh, place it. To me, it's not like fruity. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's not like fruity, but it's uh, kind of it's kind of sweet. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. But it isn't like a caramel sweet. Or no. Nothing like 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 a sweet. Usually you get you get like a fruit or caramel or something distinctive making it sweet. Okay. This is like a sweetness, but it doesn't taste like it is. It isn't like a sweet malt liquor either. It's not like a a harsh sweet. It's just like a a mild sweetness. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to place where I've kind of tasted that before. I can just it just sits in my mouth. It's not a bad flavor either. No, it's just no like, I've, I've tasted. I'm uh, to let, place me, it. let me put it like this: I've had an independently brewed beer before that had a similar taste to this, but it was horrible. There was something about it that made it just suck. It was just right. when you when you, you gagged on it when you drink it. This here doesn't do that. It's actually very good. It has about the offensiveness as a core light. Like it just doesn't not have any offensiveness. Like it's, it's it's well yeah it's like it's it's like kind of like a light beer but it's not. It's, it's got a little more it, flavor it, than it, that. It's, it's definitely not. it's definitely a hearty flavor. It's it's good, but it's not it's not offensive at all. It's very easy to drink. I would say that even just the smoothness of it would almost bring <sighs> the flavor. The 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 harshness of it is probably similar to a Coors banquet, like a whole flavor. 
but it is actually a, a, a more sweet taste than that. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and drink some more. Yeah. It's definitely not bad. I can almost taste this, a shell's taste to it, but it isn't. It is definitely different. See, I was almost thinking a grain belt sweet, but it's not. It's less than that. It's not quite that sweet. Like, you know that green belt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the green belt is, is pretty something else, but what? They can hear you. If I couldn't hear you, they might have. <laughs> I was trying to I'll hurt. review the tape for later. Instant replay. Well, let me let me go ahead. Yeah, I'm nice, ain't I? Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this. I have no trouble chugging your 12-pack of those. At all. I would say it's good to drink. If I could afford this, I would buy it more often. I think I will buy it if I'm feeling like buying a slightly more pricey beer. Uh, and that's probably up there with a Green Belt. Yeah, it probably is. And it's better than Green Belt, I, in a sense. Green Belt is kind of a, a fruity pebbles kind of ness to it, to me. So that's sweet. Nordeast, I think, is better than Green Belt. Nordeast has more of a salt and pepper ness to it, to me. But... And, and, it's, and it's not far off, though. It's still kind of in that category. It is definitely in the new all-made beer taste. It is good. I, I like this one. This is very, this is probably the best beer made in New Ulm. I mean, uh -oh. but I don't know where it's made, New Ulm. I mean, if this is made at Shell's, what for you guys, Shell? Safely. Uh, all it says is it's made at uh, in New Ulm, Minnesota. Find some Hans, Hanstein Brewing Company, New Orleans, Minnesota. So that's got to be a separate brewery. I think it is. Uh, it would have shelled, it would have shelled Shell's Brewing Company. And I do like Shell's. Trust me. Because if it was a Shell, they'd have their logo or their name yeah. on there somewhere. No, tr not. Trust me, I would like, I love Shell's beer, but I can't afford Shell's beer. Shell's beer is full priced. Well, this is actually the name. That's not, it's mm -hmm. Hanstein. Hanstein. Hanstein or Hanstein or Hanstein. Hanstein. Sometimes the U is a V. That could be too. Yeah. I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, pretty much going to be a long video, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I do like this beer. I do recommend it. If you can at all find it, please try it because it's probably a very small independent brewer, probably not very big at all. So if you guys can at all support this beer, please do. And I probably will buy more of it just because... I'd love to support them as much as I could. So, yeah. party season's coming up. We should get a little bit of that. I should get, I guess she gets some of this. Frostbusters. Frostbusters. That's coming up pretty soon. It is coming up. End so. of this next month. Yep. Next month. March. So, thanks guys for, for, for watching this. And uh, I appreciate your viewership. And as always, have a nice day.